In our top story this hour, the president of South Sudan has replaced the army chief, Paul Malong, with a general who comes from an ethnic minority. Now, this follows a string of resignations by senior generals alleging tribal bias and favoritism. Defense Minister Kowal Manyang Juk says President Salva Kiir appointed General James Ajongo as the new army chief. Manyang has played down the significance of Malong's removal, saying it was just a normal procedure. Well, earlier we spoke to South Sudanese presidential spokesperson Ateni Wick Ateni about the sacking of Army Chief Paul Malong. Uh, just a normal procedure. Uh, the position of the chief of general, uh, you know, the chief of general staff, is a position to spend only two years to four years, uh, depending on the prerogative of the president, who is the commander in chief of the army. If he so decides. To leave you after you know uh, to let you go after you, you have spent the minimum time of two years, or uh, uh, you wait for you until you finish four years, or even renew it is a prerogative of the president. So then they, uh, they it is just a normal change of guard. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, political motivation. It's concerning the uh, the change of guards within the army is normal, and the man who has now take over, taken over is also a man who have grew in file and the ranks of the SPLA. He has joined the SPLA in 1983 and has been in the military since 1983. For the last 34 years, Jonga uh, Mahmoud, uh, who is now uh, the uh, general staff, has never been outside the Sudan People's Liberation Army, unlike uh, the pre his predecessor, General Paul Malone, who, who was one time uh, a governor of Northern Barakazali State for five years and then later on the status of the army. But this man now is a man who should take uh, the SPLA uh, to reform and take the SPLA uh, to be a professional army. So uh, there's no any stability that, any stability that can come as a result of the change. Well, there's South Sudan's government spokesperson insisting that it's just a normal procedure, this uh, replacement of uh, Paul Malong. Let's get you more on this now. We're joined on the line by our correspondent, Patrick Oyet in Juba. Uh, Patrick, of course, as we know, Paul Malong has for a very long time been viewed as uh, not only a powerful military figure, but also as someone that bears a great deal of influence on uh, political events uh, in South Sudan. Um, what then do commentators make of the decision to remove him from his position? Of course, we, we have talked to a number of people here. There is a mixed reaction. There are people who say uh, at the time he has served as army chief of the other staff, he's short, he should have been given more time. There are people who are, however, happy that uh, there is a new person now on the ground. And, of course, looking at the conflict that has been going on, that there may be a change of... Uh, of, uh, of someone at the top of the, the military could help at least try to to resolve some of uh, some of these uh, conflicts. Of course, Paul Malong, before actually becoming the army chief, he was a governor of one of the states in uh, northern Barakazal. That is, so he has, of course, he has a lot of influence. He's also the chairman of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement in that state. So. Yes, he has a lot of influence, but uh, all in all, uh, Juba has remained calm. We are uh, just from the swearing-in ceremony where it has also gone successfully. We have not yet seen any incident around that uh, could point to the fact that maybe something like a conflict w w would be would be there, and also. Uh, the, 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 there is also an understanding that he himself he would not want to create uh, perhaps any any conflict in, in this situation where South Sudan is already. So uh, it all is looking good for now. That is indeed encouraging to hear that things are looking good for now. But of course, there have been some concerns due to the political situation in Juba and the fact that the SPLA is not considered a cohesive national force, um, that Malong's sacking could in the long term lead to some tension. Do you think these concerns are legitimate? We have also talked to some experts here who say that... Uh, uh, they are, the conflict in South Sudan cannot be blamed on one person. For example, uh, before Paul Malong was appointed the army chief, there was also an army chief who was called James Hot Mai. When he was removed and Paul Malong was appointed, many people had hoped that uh, the, the, the change of guards at the top would bring peace and nothing happened. So by that, by that time, people were blaming James Hot Mai. And people are saying, perhaps this blame.
claim that people are putting on phone, madam, is also perfect. Maybe the, the new person who will come also may not even perform very well. So people, they, they, they are saying you cannot blame the, this situation in South Sudan on only one person. There is a lot that needs to be done to correct the situation. Kenya of the chief or the, the, the head of the army is just one, and maybe more have to be done in order to see real peace on the ground and people going back to to their homes, those who are displaced, businesses starting to boom like it was before the conflict in, in, in 2013. All right. Well, thank you so much. Patrick Oyeta, our correspondent, live for us there in Juba. And as he says, General James Ajong has officially been sworn in as the new Army Chief of South Sudan.